Okay, good morning, everybody. Oops, sorry. So thank you for coming to, to New York. Um, maybe you don't know me, but uh, I've been on the job for one year. Um, I have 25 years experience in, in rail. It has been a, a passionate journey. Um, I've done many jobs in this industry, almost all, all jobs, and um, I'm still passionate about it, so I hope that I can bring some passion to you today. Uh, it's a fantastic business. There is a lot of opportunities. Some of our uh, plants um, are more than 175 years old, and I think we will be there in 175 years. So we are, in fact, between tradition and modernity. So today I want to uh, talk to you about uh, who we are in Bombardier Transportation, and it's all about moving people. And we're moving people in the cities, and we're also moving people between cities. And we are today impacting every day millions of passengers everywhere on the planet. So of course it's a very high commitment, and what I can tell you is the value we provide to cities and to <coughs> communities is very easy to measure. It is when it does not work. And I can give you the example of last week in Paris and London, there was a significant issue with a pollution peak. I don't know if you heard about that. It has been a very, very hectic moment in Paris and London. Uh, the level of CO2 emission was very high. The quality of the air was very poor. There was a lot of emergency in the hospital. And at that moment, you realize that you need public transportation working. The second example is the millions of commuters that are using trains every day. And the level, the single disruption in a commuting system brings, of course, a lot of chaos in any city. So it's all about moving people, and we do that today with a significant install base. We have more than 100,000 uh, cars in services all across the globe. And we are present in more than 60 countries. And we have more than 500 customers in 70 countries. And we are present in more than 200 cities. So we are a very global players all, all across the globe. And we are today very well placed to continue the development of public transportation all across the, the world. And who we are, we are providing the highest value to our customer when they invest in rail infrastructure. And we help them to ensure the highest return on their investment. So this year, we have launched a significant transformation program. And I can tell you that uh, the first year we are on track with our program. And in 2016, uh, we will deliver as per our commitment. And we have focused on de-risking our backlog and improving the quality of our execution. We have also revisited our complete value chain proposal and how we deal with our customers. As you can see, we have improved by 100%, 100 base point uh, the financial profitability. I have implemented a leaner organization in BT with a new talents that have joined the team. And I have also significantly reinforced uh, our leadership and the level of accountability. This year has been a very, very intensive year. And I'm very, very proud to lead the team and to bring BT to a new uh, leading position tomorrow. As you can see, we have a profitable gross plan and we want to reach a 10 billion business in 2020. And I am convinced that all the main trains are here to achieve that. And at the same time, we want to deliver the uh, 
highest level of return on sales, above 8% at the end of the period. What is very uh, important is that the visibility we have, thanks to our 31 billion backlog, is helping us to manage the transformation and to significantly uh, improve the overall financial performance. So when you look to the market, this market is a very, very, very dynamic market. And you can see in every geographies, but also in every areas of the business, we can see growth. And this growth is on top of that very resilient to a crisis. In 2008, the, uh, the, our industry faced uh, no significant downturn because in fact, most of the politicians on the planet realize that investing in infrastructure projects and in particular public transportation is good for their economy. And we can see that we have since now some years and looking forward, a steady growth in front of us. And this growth is supported by three major trends. The first one is of course urbanization and environmental requirements. I mentioned the example of London and Paris last week, but I can tell you this is true in Asia, in Africa, in South America. It has been the case in Europe, in America, but it's just increasing. And when you look only on the mega cities, uh, the cities above 10 uh, billion people, today we have 29 of them and we expect to have 41 in, in 15 years. And Bombardier is already present and dealing with zoo cities in 66% of them. So two thirds of the mega city on the planet, we are a key strategic partner of the city to move millions of people. And we are present in New York, we are present in Shanghai, in Beijing, in Singapore, in Paris. And this trend is just accelerating. And you can feel it when you look at the urbanization rate that you can see all over the planet. The second trend is there is a need to accelerate the delivery of new transportation system. And there is a need to bring as fast as possible turnkey solution to the market that will significantly deliver the capacity that is being required and the reliability in service. And when I look to the investment that is being prepared by the city planning, everywhere there is a significant increase of kilometer of tracks and number of trains that is being planned everywhere. And it's not specific of one place or the other, this is really all across the, the globe. Additionally, to support that, there is the significant availability of cash to be injected in infrastructure project. So there is a good combination between the need and also the financial support. The third one is traveling in trains is becoming more and more enjoyable. And thanks to the digitalization of our environment, we can provide today now an A to Z journey to travelers and them being always connected. So the feeling you have when you travel by train is unique. There is very few disruption, and at the same time, you, you are always connected. Additionally, the digitalization enables us to make your journey seamless. From home to office, you can enjoy a very easy trip avoiding congestion, avoiding wasting time, and avoiding sometimes also pollution. So we provide very, very, very good tra uh, traveling experience to many, many, many passengers. So all those three trends today are really accelerating the momentum in, in rail. And this is why we are convinced that this environment is favorable for a business growth. Our plan, in fact, is to outperform the growth. So as you saw, the, the growth is about 3%, and we are looking for a 5% growth 
till 2020. And we want to grow in all areas, and I will explain you in how we are going to do that. But we have grown in the past, and we will continue to lead the growth in this rail industry. And we have all the key basic fundamentals ready to, in fact, deliver this growth. So the first element is that we have a unique platform of product. We are covering all the market segments wherever you are in the development of the city or the development of the region or a country. So we provide best service in light rail, and we are the number one in the world in light rail, and we have a unique experience started in, in Europe 100 years ago. And light rail is the simple solution when you start to develop a city. And today what we can see is that many, many cities are starting to invest even more in this light rail vehicle because they provide the right capacity at the right cost. The second element, the second platform is our metro. And we are present in uh, most of the cities I mentioned uh, before. Uh, and we are delivering every day high capacity, high reliability in services, and also a very high punctuality. All the key parameters that are today the main element of differentiation when we deliver a complete metro. And we have a Movia platform today that is really well accepted by our customers everywhere, as I mentioned to you, in the mega cities, but also in the large cities. We are also present in the regional and commuter. So the regional and commuter is the type of train you need when you have a, sprawl, a sprawling suburb. So your city is getting bigger and bigger. And you need to get out of the city, and you need to then after to reach, of course, your suburb. And then, of course, you need to connect around a mega city. You need to connect other cities, and you go regional. And this business, of course, is start to grow significantly. It was very well developed in Europe. And now we can see that it starts to appear more in uh, North America, but also in Asia, and in particular in China. And we are today the number one is in, this, uh, in this field. And we have two platforms that we want to leverage on to continue to serve the, uh, the commuter and regional market. The first one is intercity and high speed, up to very high speed. And we, ha we have here a Zephyro platform that has been delivered in many, many countries. We are very present in China. We are the largest non-Chinese manufacturer in China with 6,000 people. We, have, we are present in most of the high speed trains in Europe. And this train is the one unique experience you can have when you, t you take this train. And if one day you can enjoy a travel in Italy, this is the Freccia Rossa, from Milano to Roma to Napoli, this is one of the unique experience to travel high speed and to reach, in fact, from Milano to Roma in less than two hours, and you just sit into your business class and you will just enjoy the ride of your life. And if you can book a ticket, do not, hesitate. do not hesitate. This is a unique experience. You can have also a ristretto uh, during the trip, and it, then after it, you go to paradise. So then we have our electric locomotive because we are also moving goods. And when we are moving goods, in fact, today in Europe, the main element of freight is about cross-border application. And we are providing today the best in class locomotive to move goods. We have more than 1,800 locomotives, 80% of the market. It's a fantastic machine. And moving goods in, in, uh, in Europe in particular with electric locomotive is a very, very important challenge. When you look at the number of parcels that we need to move in the next five years. So all in all, I would say that we have invested significantly in superior platform that cover all the segments where the needs are here. So we need to position them to the market, but of course the level of development there is of course less than it used to be in the past. Who we are? We are not only a rolling stock supplier, a product supplier, and we are in fact delivering complete solution. And in fact, a solution is a combination of many building blocks. The first one is infrastructure. The second one is, of course, the rolling stock. And we are providing also some other blocks 
such as the uh, signaling, the system integration, where you integrate all the blocks together, and also the services for operation and maintenance. And as far as we are concerned, we can enter the market through the rolling stock, but we are providing a lot of services that enable the customers to integrate, but also to operate and maintain. And we bring here a significant differentiation that enable our customers to have a better utilization of their rolling stock and their infrastructure. And we see here a significant opportunity to grow. And this is very true in the services, but this is also very true into the uh, signaling uh, and system integration. And why is it so? Because the signaling and system integration brings you the automation, and the automation is an enabler for you to reduce your operating cost. And in fact, the services is also an opportunity for you to reduce your maintenance cost. So the combination of the two, you reduce significantly operate the operation and maintenance cost, and you provide a better return on your investment. So today, not only we are capable to bring the best product that enables the best depreciation on the capital cost, but we are providing also the best operation and maintenance cost, which in fact, who we are, we are an accelerator of the customer investment in their infrastructure. And this is a key position there, and this is how we are being perceived as a value creator to our customer. So we have launched, in fact, a transformation in order to move from uh, the 6.5 this year. This is above uh, uh, last year by 100 base point, And we want to go above the 8%. And I know that it has been said, but here I want to insist on the three fundamental differences of our plan compared to previous plan. And they are, it's about the revenue conversion and mix. The second is about the product and services platform. And the third one is about our operational and structural cost. And I want to explain to you the three fundamental changes that we are bringing into Bombardier Transportation in order to reach the 2020 target. So the first is about the, the revenue uh, conversion and mix. And what is very um, different is our positioning in the ecosystem. And here I want to give you the example of New York where we are today. And in New York, Bombardier, we are in fact delivering already different type of services. So we are one of the main player into the metro. So when you take the metro, there is a good chance that you take a Bombardier car. But we're also providing the service between GFK and New York on the, uh, on the driverless uh, train. And so if you go to GFK by train, this is our train. But we're also providing commuter services to move from New York to the outskirts and into the suburb. And so we are uniquely positioned to provide higher and higher services to New York City, and we are the long-term strategic partner in this ecosystem. And of course, the major change for us is how we can continuously develop through our position, our business relationship with uh, the people in New York, and in fact, to answer and meet the growing demands for public transportation. And it grows all along the value chain, not only with the rolling stock, but also with the signaling and the system integration and also with the services. The second element is, is about the, the mobility solution. Our customers are realizing that our products are, are getting very sophisticated. And of course, they need to ensure that they have the best usage of their investment when they provide the transportation. And they are no longer looking for a train. They are looking for a solution. And when they express their needs, their need is, is now being expressed in a different way. And they are, discuss, they are speaking about capacity, which is how many people you transport per hour and per direction. They are speaking about punctuality. They are speaking about experience in, during your travel. They are speaking about connectivity. So the way they express their need is changing. 
and it's changing very, very fast. And who we are in Bombardier, we have this unique capability to understand the need and to translate this lead into a solution. And the solution is not only a train, but it's a complete package that enable our customers to significantly improve their performance in services. The third uh, change is our partnering approach. And Bombardier uh, is one of the unique companies that develop very strong business relationship. And we are partnering with many, many key players in the ecosystem. And we are partnering with customers. We have been one of the first companies in the world to develop joint venture to deliver services. And we have done that in Shanghai. We are doing that in Europe. And it is a very, very successful setup with our customer. We are also partnering with ONM. So we have announced partnering recently with the Chinese, but we are also partnering uh, with uh, Alstom in France or with Siemens in Germany. And we are also partnering with our suppliers that are becoming partners, as Nico said, because we want them to take a higher role in the value chain. And of course, partnering bring, brought into the ecosystem give us a very strong competitive position. So all, all this should enable us to bring Bombardier Transportation to the 10 billion business. The demand is there, and those three blocks enable us, in fact, to serve on the wave and to match the growth and to exceed the growth. The second element is we are changing the way we design product. We used to be project-driven organization with a very significant level of customization. And when you customize, you take a lot of risk, and you bring the risk in the project execution, and you suffer, at the end of the day, very challenging uh, moment when you are a bit delayed. So here we are reversing the approach. And because of the platform we have developed, I showed you that we have developed five platforms. The objective for us is to generate the product of tomorrow out of the platform we have, and then to customize this product just for what is necessary to our customer. And our objective is to significantly increase the level of reusability in the company. And this year, we have reached already 70%. And the target I fixed to the organization is a 70% reuse in our project, which should not only de-risk, but also accelerate the time to market, and then, of course, generate more cash and more profitability to the company. But at the same time you develop your platform, you capture in the platform your services business. So you embed in the definition of the platform all the, the key elements that will enable you to develop your services. And it could be about spare parts, it could be about repair and overhaul, it could be about fleet management. And by this approach, we intend not only, we intend to not only reduce our cost, but also to improve our profit. The, second, uh, the third element of the transformation, as Alain said, is to significantly reduce our cost. And so we have launched uh, this year the program to rationalize our footprint. And in fact, we have three major streams in this uh, transformation. The first one is about engineering. And we want to create center of excellence to develop our product out of our platform. And we want to reduce that to 10. We used to be 60. So down to 10 is a significant change. We have started this year. And of course, the development of our platform approach will enable us to uh, reduce uh, the number of center of excellence of engineering. The second element, this is our uh, industrial footprint where we want to, to develop industrial lead sites and to implement lean factories. It's a significant rationalization of our uh, manufacturing footprint. And here we want to bring in our, uh, in our plant best-in-class industry 4.0 practices for us to remain the leader in manufacturing. And the third one is about uh, our, work, our global work share that we are developing uh, in relationship with Bombardier, which is how you optimize all the different back offices functions and SGNA so that we, we uh, reduce our total cost. 
At the same time, we need to bring new people in the organization in order to move from this previous local site-centric organization to more global expertise that we need to have in the company. So all in all, what I can say is Bombardier Transportation is a trusted partner of the cities and the countries to move people. And here I want to insist on one thing. Moving people is not something that is not important. This is a fundamental element of the development growth. And moving people is at the art of designing and modernizing cities. And you, you are no longer a supplier of train. You are the partner of the cities. All the trends are today all together coming to enable the change into a very modern world where we move people in a safe way, in a punctual way, and in a comfortable way. So I'm very convinced that we have all the key building blocks ready to overachieve the, the market growth. So I thank you for your attention. <laughs>